Hello, welcome back. Yes, I'm making another video. I can't believe it. This is probably one of my longest videos ever, but you guys I think you'll enjoy it because I did pretty good in this match. It's a uh, COD 4, as you can tell, which is pretty cool. Um, and I'm on, I think it's down, chopper down or something like that. Or yeah, it's a really good level. Crash. I'm sorry, crash. There you go. Um, and uh, I kind of wanted to not really talk much about the gameplay today, but um, kind of talk about other stuff, but, you know, a little bit here and there. Um, I always expect a guy's going to come over that, so I always search there, because sometimes I feel like to jump over that in just random matches. Um, but I just want to talk about kind of like going back and forth between the Call of Duty games. Um, it's uh, it's interesting, because like I, just, I, I started playing World of War, which I really like. I checked this game out from GameStop, which we can do that, we're allowed. Um, Look at my terrible aiming. <laughs> um, basically what that is, is um, if we have a game like COD 4 or, uh, you know, just something we have a lot of, we can actually, just more than four copies, we can actually check them out for two days, three days, and we get to play the game a little bit. And then we just bring it back. It's no big deal. It's kind of like a rent, renting for free type deal. It's pretty tight. Um, take advantage of it every once in a while, but not all the time because it's kind of, you know, you don't want to abuse it type deal. Um, but, uh, yeah, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about GameStop here, because, uh, I just really don't know if I'm telling the truth about where I work, I guess. Um, I, uh, I've worked for GameStop for about two or three years now, since I was in, uh, California, when I used to work in Palm Springs. I, uh, I loved it there. That was a great store. Um, if you ever go in there and say hi to Kim, really, she's the manager there. Um, but, uh, yeah, I loved that store. I loved working there. And I uh, started out as just an initial level position, GA, you know, that's what they call them. And did you like that, how I flashed myself? That was awesome. Anyways, um, but yeah, I started out as a GA, and I kind of built my way up uh, and had some luck and got to be a senior game advisor, which is like the third key position. So not the assistant manager, but uh, the guy right below him, that's me. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I've been working that position for quite a bit of time, and I'm I still like it a lot. Um, let me tell you a little bit more about GameStop if you guys don't know a lot. Um, which you probably do. But uh, GameStop has about 4,000 stores in the United States. About 6,000 in the in the actual world. Because um, they have like 2,000 out of state, out of the United States. Which is pretty cool. Um, ooh, that was such a lucky, because I got them right when I had to reload. Um, but, uh... But yeah, um, so I really like the store. I mean, it is a corporation, so yes, you game crazy lovers, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get all sentimental and say, oh man, it sucks that they closed. But um, they did. Uh, any other local chain? Um, that's cool. You know, I like the local ones because they do a lot of the uh, older games like SNES and such, which is really cool. Um, and they're good to refer down for stuff like that. Um, but for us, in, in that tale, is uh, it's pretty good. Uh, I like uh, I like where I work, and I like the people I work with, and it's a uh, it's an awesome it's an awesome thing to do. Um, lots of people are like, oh, you know, I totally want to work there because that's my dream job. Da da da. But they have no clue of what it entails. Um, they always think, oh, it's because I get to talk about video games all day. No, not really. You don't really get to talk about video games all day. Um, some people do um, come in, and you can talk to them about it. Uh, but some people a lot of times don't. I mean, a lot of times you end up uh, just gutting games and putting them in sleeves and putting them out and then, uh, you know, going through shipment boxes and, and it, checking in the new games and such and checking in, you know, product. That, was, that is an awesome grenade. Look at this. Boom. <laughs> that was the awesomest grenade I've ever thrown. I just threw it right behind me because the guy shot me from behind and I, and I got him that way. I was grateful. Um... But yeah, GameStop is probably one of the coolest jobs I've ever worked at. Um, I actually, before I went to GameStop, I have a uh, a certificate uh, for basic culinary, um, which is pretty cool, from College of the Desert in California, Palm Desert, California. Um, and you know, I I, tr I tried that trade because I really I really did cooking, uh, but I realized in the midst of it all that instead of cooking as a actual chef, you know, like somebody who owns a restaurant or cooking in a restaurant, um, 
I didn't like that. I didn't like the pressure. I didn't like people pushing me around and telling me what to do and, you know, and getting all on my ass about shit. Um, I didn't like that. So I decided I wasn't going to do it because, believe it or not, here and there, um, you know, we all have our passions. And right after that became video games was one of my big deals. And it wasn't because I like playing them just because of that. Um, but it was because I knew I couldn't get a job as, um, like, a video game designer, um, because I, I just don't have the uh, thought process for that. Um, so I just went on and, and decided to, I got a, a, a really good chance to uh, start working there, because the manager, my dad knew her, and uh, we're, they were really good friends. And uh, so I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to take it, you know. I, you know, I have a, I have a good, I can sell things to people, and I, I don't mind it either way, so... But yeah, it's a little bit more about GameStop. Uh, now, what am I excited for? Uh, I found out, by the way, if big announcement, haha, if you guys don't know already, Dead Rising is going to have a midnight launch, which is really cool. Um, and I'm really excited about that, because I think I'm going to dress up as a zombie, and I got pwned right there. Uh, and so, I'm really excited about that. Um, but uh, after that, um, we got Medal of Honor. Like, really, right after... Nah, not right after that, like... Cut, probably like two weeks after that, um, we got Medal of Honor, and I'm really freaking excited about that. I'm gonna when I get that game, I'm gonna do commentaries on it as well. Um, I'm gonna do commentaries on Dead Rising as well. I took this footage tonight, so um, I think I went a pretty good score. And uh, I've been watching a lot of footage on Scene Inners stuff, and I really like I really like Minecraft. That game looks crazy cool, and it looks a lot of fun. Um, I've been noticing a lot on uh, Halo, which is cool. Uh, not a big Halo fan, though. You know, <laughs> uh, never have been because uh, it's a more of a 360 deal, and I'm more of a PS3 deal. So, uh, but you know, I, I respect people who play Halo. I'm not going to tell them to, that they're doing something stupid or anything. And the game, you know, this new one actually looks pretty promising as a game. It got a 9.5 in Game Informer, so. Um, I really respect kind of a lot of the stuff they talk about, so it's uh, it's definitely definitely looks like we're trying. So if I ever get a 360, I'm probably gonna pick up that game first. Um, but you know, I, I've been hearing a lot of the, those guys tell me that they suck at video games, and they don't. All right, we're coming up to the end, and uh, thank you guys for listening. If you are, and if you're not, well, I'm sorry, but uh, thanks.